What's going on, Mystery Seekers? Welcome to another Weekday Weird. I'm Matt. I'm Greg. And today we're talking about reincarnation. Do you believe in it? I kind of do believe in this topic, yeah. And I believe in reincarnation. Do you really? Yeah, I do. Why? I'm just curious. I don't know, for a couple different reasons, I think. Um, Do you think you know anybody that's been reincarnated? I don't know. Some people claim that they have, but I mean, something has to happen. I don't think that's just... All right, it, man. Like, I really don't think that's it. Whether we come back here or go to a different place is, you know, up to, you know, whoever, the yeah. little aliens, you know, whatever you believe in. But I, I think some of this has to be true because you hear about this stuff like all the time um, where people are like, oh, I, I, you know, I feel like I've come back from whatever, the, you know, wherever, like even like the psychic, you know, that told you, you, you were shot in the stomach, right? Yeah, he said something happened to me. Yeah. In like a past there, life, right? Yeah. Where there was an area that there's a mole, he said that's where I was either shot or stabbed. Yeah. I mean, and I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I get the feeling that I came back from somewhere. Really? Like yeah. where? Do you feel like you know a time period or do you have a. No, I, I don't know. Like they say a lot of times if you're scared of something. Yeah, you died from that's that. That's how you died. Yeah. And in this case, it rings true. Today we're talking about the Pollock Twins. If you're not familiar with this story, it is a creepy and cool story, I think. The Pollock Twins were English girls in Hexham, England. Yes. I guess I'm saying that right, hopefully. The two uh, the two girls, Joanna, 11, and Jacqueline, 6, on May 5th, 1957, the girls were killed in a car accident. Yeah, they're, they're her, their parents... Their parents them, were devastated. Yeah, and they were driving, and uh, the... The two girls got killed in the car accident. Yeah, oh. and the the parents, um, what was it, Florence and John um, Pollock, they were so devastated, you know, they didn't know what to do. They they moved, but they ended up having twins, twins. Yep. identical twins, about a year later. Which is kind of fast, you think? Like, Well, that, this is what I don't know. Was she pregnant at the time, like when this accident happened? I mean, they were... They were that would explain a lot, I the, think. The twins were born in October... Of 58. 58. And yeah. the accident happened in May of 57. No, so th- they weren't. They, if you think about it, like... No, the, the, the timeline doesn't match up. But anyway, in this story, Jillian and Jennifer were born. They were identical twins a little over a year later. Yeah. And around the time when they were born and starting to able to, like, kind of communicate with pointing and, like, talking... They started exhibiting traits, I would say, as the sisters who recently died. Which I don't think is that, you know, um, out of the realm of possibilities like normalcy, just because of the fact that you're raised in like kind of the same environment, the same house. So you think you would have some of the same mannerisms, like just like me and you do. True. But here, here's a, where it gets a little, you know, weird. Yeah. And I've read a couple of different reports and this is where, you know, trying to do as much research as possible on the internet, you always find some bullshit and then you don't find, you know, you find like credible sources and you always try to say like, all right, in all the things that were posted, this was exactly the same. And there were spots on the girls. Yep. Birthmarks. Birthmarks in places supposedly where, you know, the girls, Joanna and Jacqueline were, you know, like had marks on them when they died. Yeah, like injuries or whatever. Right. Whatever those like head injuries, and one was on like the thigh, like the hip area. Yeah. And um, you know, on the forehead on one of them. So that was a little interesting, if that's true. Yeah, if that's true. And I mean, I'm, sh- I'm sure you could find out a lot more about this if you. Re- I mean, we're only doing this like quick weekday weird on it because i thought it was just a really cool story on one of our listeners did ask us to do a, an episode on reincarnation which i think we will do a full episode and we'll recome you know come back to the pollock twins themselves but what was really interesting too it was up until they were five years old yep. that they were exhibiting these traits of saying you know like recognizing certain things well yeah because they moved back to the original town that in hexham yep. england and the the two girls, the identical twins, started pointing out landmarks and other specific things that they had no, they would have had no idea about, right? Prior or previous knowledge of, right? And even like the only thing that got me, if uh, again, if this is accurate, is like the toys, right? They would like 
say the names of like the toys that the other girls had. Yeah, and the only thing that I could say about this, if it's true, right? Now, did the parents mention it and they kind of picked up on it? You know, and they said in all the stories that I've read about, the parents didn't say anything about their previous daughters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, could it be something, you know, where you learn stuff over time and a lot of people think that your DNA is passed yeah, and also like emotions are passed down through generations. Mm -hmm. So like our grandparents could have passed down some generational like DNA trait that says, Oh, you know, Matt really likes chocolate. He loves cookies. And it's because, like, Grandpa used to love cookies. Yeah, I mean, it could be. What was that study? I forget the name of the study where they used the mice Mm -hmm. and where they would, like, shock the mice. And then, like, you know, down the line, you know, the the children of the mice would feel the, like, same effect. So when they would, you know, shock the mice for the cheese, Yep. you know, saying, like, oh, you know, you want that cheese, but you're going to get shocked. And then when the, the little, little ones, the babies, years later, would smell the cheese... They would, you know, like panic. And, yeah, they would get know. that fear over them. Right. Yeah. So do you think it's something like that that could have happened? Like that was in almost like, because you're born from the same Yeah, I think so. People. But also I think um, maybe when she, the, she was, the, the wife was pregnant, right? I mean, they could have been talking and maybe the baby somehow subconsciously picked up on some of that. I don't know. True. Um, but it is, it is interesting to think about, like if that's really possible and true yeah well this thing it's not like you weren't re- reincarnated through somebody else right it's Correct. not like they came back and they were in the same country in the same town but no, of different parents. parents it was the same parents so could it be like contaminated in that in any way you know just look like when i thought about this story you know it gives you the chills because he's like oh shit like how does a little kid know that but then also here's another thing that i thought about too while researching this story is you know how you're very susceptible when you're younger to like you know oh i'm playing with my imaginary friend and sure. then like the adults write it off like oh it's just yep you know whatever but it could be like a ghost what happens if like the little kids saw like the other little girls right and they were communicating with them in some way that could be possible too so they weren't reincarnated it was just they were like subconsciously talking yeah, to talking them. to them because you know as you were a little kid you had experiences yeah i mean but then like you kind of grow out of it right yeah i mean i, I think that's also possible so um, maybe that's what happened here like the girls be, you know reached but wouldn't five. they wouldn't they say something to the parents like hey i've been talking to yeah but you don't know like all right they're taking this from and this is a story right that's passed down correct so I get that. how many times it was changed like the parents could have said you know what we may have mentioned our previous daughters you know joanna and jacqueline and we didn't we forgot to mention that to you know the reporter whoever the doctor whoever they were talking to that like ended up passing the story along sure. or could they just have tons of pictures and information could have like the toy had a name on it that the you know the kid picked up i mean they were young and they didn't exhibit any of these traits afterwards. It would be cool to like talk to them. Yeah. You know, in their older age and say, all right, do you still remember anything? Like, can you give us anything? I don't know. Do you remember when you were five? No, I don't. So, I mean, the older I get, the more it seems to be like mashed up in the like, yeah, the you don't years know. Yeah. seem in yeah. one big year. It doesn't seem like, oh, I remember 2018, this, this, and this happened. Yeah, no, I get that. So. Yeah, this one's weird. So do you believe in reincarnation or do you think they were talking to the ghosts of the, the daughters? I was leaning more towards the ghosts when I was like understanding this because eventually, you know, they kind of grew out of it. So that makes me think like, all right, maybe they stopped talking to the ghost and receiving information. Or maybe it is, you know, when you reincarnate, you remember a lot of things because it seemed like they just died a year ago right yeah so not even a year ago so you remember that but then slowly those memories fade away just like as you get older the memories when you were little because i don't remember when i was like three crawling around no i don't either. you know i could still remember things maybe when i was like seven you know of stuff and movies we went to go see yeah but other than that like all those you know memories in the hard drive are getting wiped out the more i learn yeah, this one's an interesting case, and I think when we do our reincarnation, we'll have to come back to this. Yeah, I think it definitely is an interesting case, and I think, you know, it would be interesting to talk to the women when they were older to see if they remembered anything, to see if you, they still, you know, could think about what they were actually 
you know, seen and experienced. Right, up until that time. Young. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to revisit part of this case when we do our reincarnation, you know, episode for our podcast. But let us know your thoughts. Do some research on the Pollock Twins yourself and let us know in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel where you can watch all of our podcasts, Weekday Weirds, every Wednesday. And of course, catch the Eerie Destinations. And visit Nightmare365.com for all of our contact information if you have stories for us. And just keep up with all the weirdness. And until next time, stay stay spooky. spooky. Tune in every Wednesday for Weekday Weird. The Unexplained, Unsolved, and Bone Chilling Tales.